Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is. Fragrance family, my name is Jameson. I'm down here in the beautiful city of Alexandria, Louisiana, and I want to take this time to invite you to my page entitled Pastor Smell Good. This is where you can come for the greatest and the latest reviews on all things concerning fragrance. Today, the first fragrance that I want to review for you is 1821 Man-Made Sweet Tobacco Spirits. This particular company here specializes in male grooming products such as waxes, pomades, body washes, deodorants, shaving cream, the whole nine yards. But what this particular company chose to do was they chose to actually launch a fragrance. And boy, is this a fragrance that you need to get your hands on. If you're looking for a masculine aroma that's going to pack a bunch of punch, you need to get your hands on man-made 1821 uh, Sweet Tobacco Spirits. Let's talk about what this fragrance consists of. Because when you purchase fragrance, when you wear fragrance, you need to know what you're smelling and you need to know what works well with your body chemistry. What works on one man is not promised to work on another. But I just want to give you a little bit of information on this fragrance that would encourage you to get your hands on it. First of all, let's talk about the notes. When you talk about fragrance notes, those are the individual scents that make up the grand scent. And in this particular fragrance, you're going to have notes of citrus. You're going to have some spicy saffron. Uh, for Grantica, even lists red wine, but the website doesn't. But I'll talk more about that in a minute. Of course, you're going to have the prominent tobacco note. You're going to get some Anuka honey. You're going to have vanilla. You're going to have tonka beans. OK, you're going to have woods and you're going to have musk in this particular fragrance. Now, let's talk about what this fragrance is from the initial blast. When I first spray this fragrance, the first thing I'm going to get is a very prominent tobacco note that is accompanied by very airy and spicy saffron. I even get some of the red wine that Fragrantica lists. I don't know what the difference is between Fragrantica and the website. Maybe Fragrantica had it wrong on red wine, or maybe the website just did not carry uh, the red wine note on the Man Made 1821 website. However, I do pick it up. So when you initially blast this fragrance, you're going to get a very dry, airy type of tobacco. That's in the opening. Now, this is where this fragrance gets interesting because the opening is going to last for approximately uh, 15 minutes. OK, then once the 15 minute mark passes by, at that point, you're going to start getting a very recognizable Manuka honey note that's going to come up. It's going to even be accompanied by some of the Tonka. And what I like about that is at this point, the fragrance begins to pick up some body and it begins to pick up some character as it develops. So now you have the very prominent tobacco note that is also starting to feature some of the warmer, sweeter notes. And boy, is that when this fragrance gets delicious. It gets great. Now, 30 minutes into this fragrance is where I start coming into the base. So now I've got some of the woods, I've got the musk, and I've got the vanilla now that is starting to really round the fragrance out. This makes for a wonderful cold weather. And you can wear this formally. You can wear it casually. You can even wear this fragrance to work. People love this fragrance. Now, this is what's interesting about this fragrance as well, guys. Uh, this fragrance is not a designer scent, nor do they uh, call themselves a niche scent. What's the difference between designer and niche? Niche is a higher luxury level of fragrance, while designer is a more cheap, affordable fragrance that will often feature a lot of synthetics. Okay, niche, more higher quality ingredients. So I believe in my humble estimation, this is a niche quality fragrance. This is a better quality than a designer fragrance. For example, your Chanel's, your Hill figures, your Boss, your Gucci. Uh, this is a premium fragrance and you really want to get your hands on this one. OK, this is man made uh, sweet tobacco spirits. 1821. Now let's talk a little bit more about this fragrance and what's going on here. Let's talk about how this fragrance performs. Uh, when I initially put this fragrance on, the performance for the duration is absolutely wonderful. Far as projection goes, what is projection? Projection is how much the scent jumps off of your body. I get about three to four hours of projection from this fragrance. 
which is absolutely wonderful, even in the coldest temperatures, okay? I'm getting three good solid hours, pushing it for a projection, all right? Now, let's talk about sillage. Sillage is how much of the scent trail do you have? I'm getting about two to three feet of sillage. I really am, okay? Uh, as far as longevity goes, this fragrance, when I put it on, I get about eight to nine good hours, eight to nine good hours. So in other words, this fragrance will last you a good work day uh, if you know how to spray it. And when I spray this fragrance, I do about one spray to the chest, I do two to the neck, and I do two more on my jaw or on my cheek, and I'm good to go. This will last me about eight to nine hours, okay? Far as the compliments go, because let's be real, when you smelling good, you want other people to think you smell good too. And you're looking for some feedback sometime, right? Well, let me tell you something. With this particular fragrance, uh, my compliments are through the roof, okay? When I wear this fragrance, this fragrance is heavily complimented by men as well. And men, you know, in order to get a female to compliment you, that's not too hard. But when you get another male to compliment you, you're doing something. Listen, when I say tobacco and honey, please don't think for one second I'm talking about you smelling like an ashtray. Uh, when I say honey, uh, you're not smelling like a woman. This is a seriously masculine scent that I'll recommend to any man, even a man that's reserved to even do fragrance. Because you know, I, there are some guys out there, they don't wear fragrance at all. I would even suggest this to men that don't wear fragrance. Number one, because it's manly and it's affordable, okay? It's affordable. So that's why you would want to get your hands on this particular fragrance. If you are a guy that loves the tobacco note, like me, it's one of my favorite notes in fragrance, uh, and you like honey, which is another one of my favorite notes in fragrance, you want to get your hands on a bottle of this. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. Quick testimony. And I'm going to close out the video. I teach school, okay? And so I teach school and I went to take a class to lunch at about 11 o'clock, okay? I took the class to lunch at 11 o'clock. Uh, I get up in the morning at about 5.30, probably by 6.30, I put my initial uh, layer of fragrance on, okay? So fast forward from 6.30 to about 11, that's about five and a half hours, so at that point, I know my fragrance isn't projecting as it was early in the morning. So I put two more sprays on, just two. Listen to this, y'all. I went to lunch. The assistant principal went to my classroom while I was gone. He said he opened up the door and he said, wow. He found me in the cafeteria. He comes in the cafeteria. He's shaking his head. He's saying, Reverend Harris, Reverend Harris, listen. Man, what is that cologne you got sitting on your desk? He said, I'm even telling you the truth. I even put me a little spritz or two, rubbed it together, and now I'm good for the rest of the day. That came from another fella, y'all. Listen to me. If you want to smell like a man and you want a fragrance that will last you through the cold season, that you don't have to worry about performing on your skin, you want to get 1821 man-made sweet tobacco spirits. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope the video wasn't too long, but I hope it was thorough enough because I'm going to be coming back your way to give you some more great fragrance content. Remember, like the video, click the uh, subscribe button and go ahead and hit the bell to get notified, uh, notified of when I go live. I love y'all. I know you love me too. Let's meet back here again and we'll do it one more time. Take care.